Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Piyush Agarwal and in this video I am going to um, take you a walkthrough of Orchestrator. There are many components of Orchestrator so I am, this will be a playlist of short videos through which you can understand each and every component which is like mostly used during a real time development. So first of all in the community edition if we see we have uh, this is my UiPath automation cloud which is accessible through cloud.uipath.com and I have access this through my Gmail service. Now over here you can see this orchestrator icon. So this is the latest interface provided by UiPath and if we click on it we are able to open the UiPath orchestrator. Now there are two kind of folders over here. One is named default and another is modern folder. Default folder is the older one which is a classic type folder and modern folder is the latest one which is provided uh, which has been introduced by UiPath in this version 21. So what you can see right now on the screen is a dashboard. Through this you can get the status of how many bots are in running, a stop, suspended or what is the status of each bot like there are 96 successful bots, 37 stop, 40. You can easily monitor and analyze how your progress of bots is going on. Now, if we see more about these folders, like in this video, particularly, I'm going to explain about default and classic and modern folder. And in the next uh, videos of this playlist, you will find to you will get to know more about each of these components. So for now, let's first go to tenant, then folders. So here you can see that if we, if we have selected default and there are two kinds of users are assigned. One is UiPath apps, which is a group user. Uh, and this one, which is my this current account, Piyush Agarwal as an administrator. And due to that, I have access to this folder with this ID. Now, if we click on this folder, this is I can say this is a classic folder, and it works in a traditional manner where we need to provision some robots and environments to run our bots. Now, if we check the modern folder, this is something different. Over here, I have only assigned a, a, this particular user, which is my email ID, as the user who can access this modern folder. And if we see its information, it says, modern folders have users assigned to them with robots that automatically provision, provision any user with robot access connects. What that means is there is no need to create any kind of environment or robot to use these modern folders. They will simply check that yes, this uh, there is any bot which is available for functioning on which machine and it will execute them. You can uh, create some machines over here, manage machines in the folder that yes, this folder will be connected to this machine. And so if there are any bots available over there, they can simply run them. You don't need to select it. So th that's all for this video. Check out the next video for the rest of the components. So e for each video, there would be at least one component explained. Hope you liked the video. Do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.